All right, so the recording has started. Uh, let's like dive right into it. Others will catch up to wherever they will find this. But let's get started. It's the trainee led conversation, and we are going to be hosted by Tamscan and Namusi Ontita. Like, you know, it's a combination Ethiopia and Kenya. Who's excited? Who's excited before we give them the flow to take over the session? <laughs> Any reactions? Okay, okay. Thank you so much for the supportive reactions. This is so super. They have prepared an important session like for all of us all. So uh, let's give them the flow to hear what they prepared. And of course, get ready to engage yourselves for any questions they're going to be asking. So Nyamusi and Tamsgan, we cannot wait. The floor is yours. So, hello everyone. I hope I'm audible. Very. Okay. So, hi everyone. How have you been? I'm so excited to be here. I hope also you guys are so excited for this session. Um, we're going to present me and Tamsin. And yeah, I'm just going to share my screen. Hi, you you can all see my screen yeah okay good so thanks then we'll start as well you can say hi okay. Thanks, Dan. Yes, yes. Good morning. Okay. Good. So morning. Today we're gonna present about social networks, and there is a twist. We're not gonna only talk about social network. We're gonna we're gonna look also cinema and movies and uh what, what ideas and inventions are come from movies and how movies benefit the audience and the tech industry and uh can we so i think i hope you enjoyed the presentation and okay so just to give you guys like a brief brief of overview of what you're going to the whole of these sessions we're going to talk about we're going to have our introduction we're going to talk about us we're going to talk about uh, social networks then we're going to talk about communities and then movies and then we have our final conclusion so so if you are wondering why social networks right and wrong there is a twist we're gonna explore social networks by meaning everything online that we can socialize with and how we can benefit aside from just using social media to share messages how to put on them and how to get insights from them and also we're going to explore why social network social network movie and uh, the cinema if you if you Just lacking, just lacking. Just lacking. Cast videos and uh, cast videos and uh, there is more to take to explore. There is more to explore. Okay. So, um, before we begin the talk, um, deep, deep diving into the talk just to get to know us better. 
So some few fun fact about us. Me personally, I love sleeping. I can say that for sure, more than even social media. So yeah, and uh, one of the things that I will, I will really, really love to do is learning how to do pottery sometime in the near future. Hopefully it will be soon. And uh, I don't like running and any physical activity related to running, but I do love watching athletes running in the whole chaos that happens during Olympics. I love the the thrill and I'm a mother girl, that's for sure. I see what you said, Betty. I just <laughs> stopped using social media recently. I have been, I have become addicted. So I have, <laughs> I have to go from there. So fun fact about me, I'm Thomas Gunn, Gabriel V. If you are wondering about what the G stands for on, on my profile. And uh, I like to work out. Opposite, the opposite. <laughs> Hampstead, we can't hear you. Hello, Temskin. Okay, I think Temskin has network issues. Let's uh, okay. let's allow Kamina to join again. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Hello, hello. Yes, you can. I'm so sorry. If you are Ethiopian, you know how Ethiopia Telecom have been butchering us. I have I have a hard time with connection. So can you hear me well right now? Yes, now we can. So I don't I don't know if you got a fun fact about me, but I'm gonna say it again. I'm a Marvel guy, like Niamusi also. I like Marvel movies. I like to go to the gym at least twice a week. And uh, I've been reading more about Stoic and I like that journey. And that's more or less about me. You can go on. Okay. okay. Next. So yeah. let's talk about about social. So, how many of you use social media for scrolling, for sharing short videos, for sharing memes? All of us, right? Like that's 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 like all of us. So we use social media majorly for uh, entertainment, either consuming content or either giving creating content but for this presentation you want us to go beyond and focus on can social media really help us in our journey to become a better machine learning engineer a better ai a better um, data engineer so yeah so 
um, we are going far and beyond and connecting with other people apart from in the social media, but in a educative and a growing manner. So for this, guys, just assume there's a cut video on the far left. It, it's not presenting right now, I don't know why, but just assume there's a funny cut link somewhere there. Go on, time scan. Yeah, so the meme was, there is a cut video, there, there is a cut image, so the twist was more, the social medias can be more than just liking cast videos. So the purpose of uh, the idea is not just, we can't, we, we don't have to just waste our time just scrolling and uh, liking videos and sharing message. Not not just that, but there there's a lot more you can do on socials. There's a lot of more communities. There's a lot more resources. Sharing on social medias every day, yeah, all the time. And there's even jobs you, you could find. You might not you might not know it, but aside from LinkedIn, you can you can even get jobs now. You, on Twitter, now in X, I I don't care what. What uh, Elon Musk said, I'm not gonna call that up X. But in Twitter, there is a, a, a feature now that you can apply for jobs on Twitter also. So if we go deep dive on social media, there is a lot more to get than just watching cats, funny videos. And uh, so next one, may I see? Hello. Next, next in Namus. Oh la la. Okay, the internet is keeping disappointing us, but you know, uh, let me put on the uh, the presentation and then uh, we can continue as Namus joins again. Okay. 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 Quick one. Quick one. But you can continue, terms again with the question. Okay, so uh, which one of you have been using online communities? If you if you can collaborate with us, if you to more engagement, which one of you are part of a community online community? It can be tech community, it can be a, a, anything. Which one of you are part of a community and share ideas and get resources from social media communities, if you would collaborate. Anyone? Yes, Daisy. Uh, hello, guys. So the one, the biggest community that I'm part of is a tech community. It's called Africa's Talking, and they, they also host in person uh, meetups. There's meetups where you can meet with your peers and make friends, and also uh, participate in hackathons. And for the online community, uh, the group chats where uh if you have a technical problem you can post about it if there are jobs people share and yeah also discuss a wide range of topics in tech yeah that's one example that's really great daisy thank you for sharing so for those of you who didn't hear the question well it is which one do you are, are you in a group or a community that's online uh, you can share ideas or you get resources from like daily mentions that's a really great example uh, the, she's a part of a community online and she gets 
the latest trend from it, and she's benefiting from it. So it's like that's what what are we want to tell. So another another person who is part of a community online, aside from tweeting, sharing posts, being actually part of in a group. Another one, another person. Michael. Okay, thank you. Uh, there is a website called edplist.org to find uh, mentors and other experienced guys. Uh, you can schedule the meeting, then you can have a conversation about the software engineering or design, anything you want. So I'll put it in the comment. Thank you. That, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Michael. That's that's what we are what we are talking about. Even if there are we are strangers online, we can share and collaborate with other strangers without expecting something in return. And that's what communities are for. So if we can take one more one more person, if there is who would would like to share their story. So, I guess not. Yamuzi, can you hear us now? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, so let's continue and we'll share more. Okay. Um, thank you for, for the last connection. And yeah. um, because everyone is talking about their story, I can also share about my story. Um, me personally, I'm in a tech community. It's called WIDF, Women in Data Science Community. Uh, that is based in Kenya, so the, it's a branch, it's a Kenyan branch, that um, where we meet uh, as ladies who are interested in data science now and come and do Datathon. So basically, for those who may not be aware, Datathon is like a, a hackathon, but now for data science scientists. So that's the community that I'm in. And did it help me? Yes, it did. Uh, it helped me know some few basics of data science and I got to connect with other people and learn from other people and now because we also want to plug you guys on other communities that can be there I we encountered this um, community actually on Instagram it's like it was being advertised everywhere on my Instagram page <laughs> it's called daily.dev I don't know if anyone has heard of it has anyone heard of it daily.dev Oh, Hillary has. Okay, nice. So yeah, so um, it's a professional network for those who may not be aware. For developers, any developer, so it it combines all the developers. And then when you like when you're just logging in, when you're new, you just pick an uh, a topic which you're interested in. Just like when you know when you log in in, in TikTok or Pinterest, like they tell you what are you interested in. So. They tell you what you're inter you you feel in what you're interested in, and then they give you daily updates. They'll give you daily trends about what has happened, what is happening in that field that you're interesting interested in. So it sort of like keeps you up to date on what is happening. So have I joined? <laughs> no, I haven't. But I think from my speech, you can you can clearly see that I am I'm highly considering on of joining it. So maybe you can like all join together and it can be our thing. Yeah. That's a great story. That's that's the foundation of the, this idea. And if I may share mine also, mm -hmm. I have when this AI break, the AI world break, when ChatGPT came, the first image generation there was, I think, if I'm not mistaken, mid journey, and uh, I was in a in a group. It's not a technical group, a community, 
of Habashatik in uh, in Twitter, and uh, I I saw the I saw the image generated from this AI player, the Mid Journey, and you can just prompt anything you want, and it generates you an image, everything, and that was really uh, the first time we we actually encounter with with ai and yeah. it was in really interesting to me i experiment with it i play around with it i generated many images and i want i wanted to go in deep on the ai world that's that's the foundation of my ai journey and here we are after a couple of years and so the question is, where can you find these communities, the AI tribe or the ML tribe, finding your tribe? So like like we said earlier, you can find these communities anywhere. Everywhere online, there is a community. You might not know it, but there is. You might think Instagram is just for sharing images or Twitter is just belittling with each other, making fun of each other and sharing memes, but you can find communities in there also. In your interest, in your interest, even if it's a machine learning, AI, programming, in data science, in data in graphics, and also they can there's a tribe. You just have to seek it. You just have to search. You just have to ask. For the next slide, Naomi. So um, I think um, based on the conversation that you had, uh, for we like one or another, those poor who are in communities, it has benefited you one way or another. Can someone like um, say, one of the major things that yeah he or she has benefited from the community he or she is in or i'm or giving you if, if, yeah, <laughs> if, if you are not if you are not <laughs> part of a community okay, <laughs> and if you are not anyway. part of a community what are you expecting to get out of from a community when you, if you want to join if you are thinking of joining yes, tell us what, what you're expecting drops. nice nice anyone else i guess none so i'll just share about the benefits of um communities and how me personally okay there is someone yes go ahead you can go ahead no it was a mistake oh. it's okay oh, okay uh sorry uh, okay. i had to fix something uh, so okay. yes uh, actually most of my uh so like news and everything comes from social media so uh yeah uh, for example uh, the news i use uh, actually most of it i use youtube so access to resources personal growth even career like most of the points you point out here i use uh, youtube so for only not 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 uh, out of this list, networking opportunities would be uh, out of the question. So for networking, I would I would probably use in person, like uh, or LinkedIn. Yeah, the, okay. if I may, uh, a wiki. But for networking, the you can network in person in around your place. But if you want to connect with globally even if your neighbor country with Kenyans, with our friends, you can you, you cannot use YouTube, right? Uh, that's the limitation of YouTube, yeah. You can get any information, but you cannot make the connections, the job opportunities, the 
knowledge sharings with other persons. You can get everything, yeah. If you search on Google, even we have our own uh, AIs now, so you can ask ChatGPT. So you don't need any other person, some would say. But sharing and collaborating is more than just searching and getting the information. You, you would get the questions you, you wouldn't know either. So the, the inspiration for this idea of the communities, by the way, is this the 10 academy cvs so i have i have got more insights from being part of the community building sessions being interactive with each other with other persons asking questions and uh, answering also collaborating with them so that they will even t tell you like it's like yeah well every every week size uh, if someone asks some a question, so it 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 will be answered. The question you wouldn't even know you had the question. So I think I would encourage you to join LinkedIn for your own sake. And maybe I know that you don't you, you might not like the other socials. I also don't like them, and I have uninstalled them. <laughs> it will be it is an character called in the. Teaching really? about, <laughs> teaching That's about Instagram. You're talking about the, and TikTok. yes, and I have installed them. I have uninstalled them, so it, it is uncharacteristic. I know, but if you are in there, you can also get less. Uh, you can use it in a better way. That's what what, what we are saying. So LinkedIn will be a, a okay. good start for you, Abuki. So continue. Anyone else wants to share? Just to say what Daisy says, uh, she has benefited from making friends, definitely. Networking and personal growth. I think I also relate with that. Anyone else who wants to share? No? Okay. We can just go ahead. So maybe just to brush through, yeah. So there is benefits of community. There is career advancement, personal growth, access to resources, knowledge sharing, networking of opportunities and access to industry news i think i think the key main benefits is access to industry news and and interacting with other people you can get other senior developers junior developers you know ceos in this tech community so i think those two are majorly the for me the benefits of community so yeah So what's what's next? Keeping up with that with the trends. So I think you have all seen the news these couple of weeks about chat GBT 40 and uh, Google's I the what Bard and Gemini 1.5 Pro and uh, recently I think Abraham shared the link for Apple and uh, GBT collaboration, I think. Is Abraham in the in the meeting? If if you would, if someone would share their well, their insights from this couple of weeks or couple of years that they get about AIs. Anyone? Anyone would like to share? Abram, if you want to share about the news you have seen. I guess not. Mm -hmm. So, guess not. <laughs> so the, the communities will help us uh, in, keep up with the trends. Like I said, I I have introduced with the world of AI, generative AI to be specific, because we have, we all have took a, took a college or university studies on AIs. 
uh, I myself have, have taken that, but the level of knowledge I had was just if else the if else AIs, uh, artificial intelligence. So these communities will teach us and embark us in the the possibility of the the trend, the content we want, and uh, it, it they will help us to keep up with the trends. So we will encourage you to join a community. Next slide, names. Okay. So, um, who has seen the movie The Social Network? Who has? Okay, Henokas. Um, anyone else? The Social Network? Michael has. Okay, nice. Okay. And what do you, can someone say for those who have watched, like, what do you think about the movie? Because it, it is kind of influential and controversial movie. Uh, so what, what do you make out of it? Because even Mark Zuckerberg has comments about it. So what, what do you think about it? If, he, if someone would like to share. Okay, Henok. I mean, uh, like Mark said, I think it's been exaggerated a lot, like a lot of dramatization, but I think the main point of it is true, like what happened, like the main points are true, but I think they've over-dramatized it for movie purposes. You are exactly okay. right, you know? That, that's... Uh, more or less exactly what Mark said. He said, quote unquote, they have found what I wear. They have found where I go, where I have went, where I have studied the libraries I, I went to, that uh, the content that, that I said, the, the, the dialogues are very exaggerated. We all know it, it's Hollywood movie, so they have to sell the idea. So the Mark, what Mark meant is the building of the Facebook was not that interesting. It, it, it is interesting, but it is not as exaggerated as the movie made it because the movie was very influential and the ending, it is very different from the what in, okay. in, real, in, in real life. So next one, we're gonna dive into from social networks to sci-fi networks. So what do we mean by that? So the idea of getting something inside from social networks, we're gonna change it to cinema. So who here, who here appreciates cinema like I do? I like, I like watching movies and really immersed, get immersed with the cinematograph, the directing, the acting, all aspects. I, I like, I love to watch movies. It, it is something, it, it's on interest of mine. So who, who, who here like movies like I do? Show of hands. I do. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Anyone? Another person? Yes. So we all like movies that, that we can share. So how do we get insights from them? Next one slide, next slide. So continue now. Okay, so sci-fi movies, uh, for those who may not be aware, are science fiction movies, in short sci-fi movies, um, despite being fictional, I think many of us can agree that they really spark our creative ideas as the developers like they really inspire us uh, to think on really actualizing what this fictional movie does and um, one of the something i came to find out like recently who is aware of global 
Is anyone here aware of Global, the international company? The delivery, okay, Margaret is, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's a delivery company, if I'm not wrong, started in Spain, but it's currently uh, branching off to African countries and all over Europe. Um, the algorithm that they use actually is related to this week's challenge. Oh, interesting, okay. <laughs> so uh, the algorithm, algorithm that they use to deliver food or to deliver food items or to deliver what you have requested from the partner they're working is, the algorithm is called Jarvis and Jarvis is from the movie Iron Man. So it was very interesting to find out that how like sci-fi movies really spark our interest in our, uh, and our creati creative juices in just creating um, these real world technologies. So many technologies today um, have stemmed actually from the science fiction concepts and some of these things include virtual reality, augmented reality, wearable technology, holographic displays, if people have seen Hulu, yeah, exoskeleton and power suits, voice activated assistants, self driving cars, and 3D printing. So, yeah. So, so on this slide, go back, go back. We have a three back questions. There we see. Sorry, sorry. So, who's going to tell us? <laughs> Each of the inventions, where they they are, they got the inspiration from. Let's let's begin with virtuality. Where do you think the first virtual reality influence came? Which which movie? If someone would guess, it's a trivia question. Where is the first virtual reality inspiration came from? Anyone? Okay, Margaret is thinking. But let him also, okay. Joseph, that's a good guess, Joseph. Mm -hmm. But the rich. <laughs> so let's. So the virtual reality or argument reality came the first interaction. Maybe not first, but the inspiration came from the Matrix movie, if you can recall. The Matrix movie that they had, they they insert cables on the back of the hair and they go immerse into reality. And the, the other other movie, the Minority Report. If you remember Minority Report, the 2002 I think movie where Tom Cruise stars, they predict futures, future crimes and stuff. So the virtual reality came came from there. How about voice activity assistance? Voice assistance. If you had to guess, which movie does it come from? N nice guess, Joseph. You are on fire. <laughs> the okay, have Joseph. Been predicting <laughs> so many things, but not this one. Another person. Yes, yes, uh, you are right, uh, Abuhi. It can be f from many places, but the first introduction of the idea on visually, like in movies, they, they, they might be researched on them, but the first visually being done was in movies and stuff. The first voice act uh, activated assistance movie inspiration from, it is a movie called A Space Odyssey. It, is, it comes in 2001, I, I say the research. So a space or this, if you want to watch the movie, that's what it's called. So self-driving cars, this this could be interesting if you have to guess from the old movies. Self-driving cars, where did it come from? Or the first inspiration? Mm -hmm. We'll plug you guys in the movies. Noted. 
Abdullah, Eric and Morty have, have been <laughs> on, on for at least 10 years, I think. It is, it is so new. So self-driving cars, if you remember, iRobot and uh, Total Recall and uh, James Bond, the James Bond movies from the 80s, they had a features of the car driving itself. And in Total Recall, the movie, they have they go beyond it and in iRobot where Will Smith stars also they had self-driving cars and uh, 3D printing how about this one for the technological 3D printing it it is it is shown if I say on Star Trek on the 70s and 80s, who's who's a fan of Star Trek? Who's Star Wars versus Star Trek person? So Star Trek in Star Trek, they use teleportations. And the uh, 3D printing, they print uh, something in their ship and stuff, and uh, it was a good movie. And wearable technology, this, this, you can't miss this, this one. Wearable technology. Where do you, do you think it? It uh, you mean uh, we mean AirPods? Anything wearable? They had they had uh, wearable in Back to the Future Hinook. I didn't know that. I have seen the their movies, but I didn't know if they had one. <laughs> yeah, the good one. So Back to the Future and uh, from the recent ones, the, uh, the Iron Man. So uh, after Iron Man, it it is revolutionized. And become big, wearable technology become. Wearable technology have been on all movies and holograms, holographic displays. How, how about holograms? This this one was. This one is easy. <laughs> yes, Joseph, you got it. It is this first scene on Star Wars. It uh, after that become big so that was the three questions for now so we go to the next slide i think okay on to the next slide so now we're gonna mention some of the ai featured movies that i like and i have seen almost all of them surprisingly and uh, let's explore ex machina who has seen ex machina show of hands who has seen ex machina yeah that was a good movie it revolves around a young programmer who has been selected to participate in groundbreaking experiment of ai that they give a human body a, a robot body so it actually, if you if you if you remember it, he's been the uh, young guy has been tasked to front engineer her. <laughs> if that makes sense, he, the young guy is tasked to make her to program her into uh, a, a good conversationist, a human-like conversation. So he's technically doing front uh, fine-tuning her by experimenting with her. And uh, that was a good uh, experiment. That was a good movie. How about her? Have you seen her? Who has seen her? Henok, I've seen it. So, Margaret. So this is an, an interesting movie because it, 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 it actually resembles our time because it, the movie sets in a near future and a desperate 
lonely writer have been introduced to AI operating system. In the movie, it says operating system. So the operating system has feelings. It can feel sadness, anger, love, every feeling a person can feel, but she has not nobody. So he falls in love with her, technically, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so the, it is a relation between a human and AI. And uh, it, it was an interesting movie. And in the movie, the voice uh, assistant, the voice was called, what was it? A trivia, a trivia question for those of you who have seen it. What was the AI? The AI's name in the in the movie her. Anybody want uh, want to guess? So the her name was Sam Samantha, and uh, Scarlett Johansson was the voice actor in the in that movie. And on in the new uh, open AI GPT four, they asked the. Scarlett Johansson to to use her voice as the GPT-4 model voice, and she refused apparently because she don't she didn't want her voice to become uh, playable by everybody else. Uh, when they release it, but when they release the model, it, the sound looks just like exactly like uh, Scarlett Johansson's, and she falls a lawsuit, and uh, they go, go back and forth and. They actually changed it. If you follow the news about ChatGPT, you know that there is a different voice when the, it is deployed. And now, and that was an interesting story. And I encourage you to watch the movie. And there is a good movie, another good movie, Blade Runner 2049. It was an interesting movie. The cinematography was really great. One one of my favorite. The directors, Dennis, well, uh, directed that. Another one is the Matrix trilogy. Like we said, everybody, I think nobody doesn't, there's nobody on earth who has, who has not seen the Matrix movie, who, who watches movies. So the other one is Transcendence. This movie is interesting because uh, is it is a fictional trailer. Uh, it apparently is a film that explores themes of technology, singularly ethical boundaries of the consequence of an unchecked AI development. It explores that, and uh, it apparently, uh, when some a programmer programs himself into AI in the end, and it was an interesting plot hole. The the way they explore the consequence of the AI capabilities, and that was an interesting one. And uh, another one is Minority Report. Like we said, Tom Cruise starts in this one. In this one, there is a system that predicts the future, and there is a police force that that holds accountable people for the future crimes they, they are about to make. And this it was an interesting plot hole in the... In, in, it released in 2002. And so if you think about it, predicting the future and holding accountable people right now for the future crimes they are about to, uh, to make, that was an interesting topic. So we encourage you to watch that. And another one is iRobot, who I think everybody's seen, most of the people seen iRobot. Willie Smith starts in there, the, the robot, the robot's outbreak. The AI becomes self-aware and try to take over the world by constructing a, a plan using the robots they the humans invented. So that was an interesting movie, and these are the, some some of the lists. The list of movies will text another movies if you would like. I hope you are having fun. Let's go. Let's go to the next one. So after we explore movies, let's, I want to mention the synergy between cinema and data visualization. As I said, I, I like 
watch movies and exploring them for what they are the cinematograph the directing the action so what is the synergy between the data data visualization data science as well no who could say the who, who could tell me the synergy between cinematic the cinematography and data visualization was an interesting thought The resemblance, the connection, a connection, uh, Abu. It's like uh, it's not causal. It is a connection. Y yes, J Joseph. That's that's exactly. That's one. Another one. So to mention some of the resemblance, it is storytelling through visuals. It, movies, movies used to, good movies tend to make uh, showing, not telling. So the visuals they are about to show, it's it tells everything there is to know. It, we don't, you don't, they don't have to tell you this is happening. Uh, mostly good movies do that. The aesthetic part of the composition. And as we all know, in data science, more more data contained, more explore, more explanation is less recommended because visualizing the graphs, the the plots are fine enough. So using better coloring systems, we could. Uh, it it should be encouraged. So. Someone has raised. Yes, let's talk about. We can talk. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just uh, wanted to say they post uh, tell you something uh, using pictures. So this is the synergy what came in my mind. Yes, you are. You are exactly right, Abdul Rahman. Thank you for that. So they show not tail. So in data science, it's encouraged in our current uh, data visualization task. It is encouraged not to include more more of uh, description, but to just visualize it with with uh, with the graphs. That's what I want. So we have a couple of pictures of good cinematography, and uh, if you will play it next, the name of it. The pictures. This is a, a trivia question. Who would like to tell us which movie is this from? Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, I guess. Exactly, yeah. That's that's a good movie. That's a good animation. Yeah. The animation is different, the, this one, because they used a lot of colors. Uh, the combination of colors they ha have used, it is really a great movie. So watch this one. It is a separate. It's not about AI. It's about spider people, but you could have fun with it if you watch it. So the next one, see. The next one is not showing. So it's it's okay. okay. It is another cinematographic image, but you can skip it. Okay. I think with that we conclude our we are reaching the end of our presentation. And one thing that some of the things that we would really love to you to take part in this uh, talk of us is that how co communities and sci-fi movies create inspiration, how it encourages us in our journey, in our career path journey in the AI field and how it, uh, we, uh, we can, with the two ideas, I'm sorry, with the two ideas that when we, we when we're in a tech community and when we see these movies that we are able to keep up with the trend, knowing about what is happening in the in the field of AI. And with that, we can grow 
grow better into you know creating new technologies that are mind-blowing yeah so for references those are some few references but oops the spelling sorry those are some few re references but um i can see most of you requested for references for movies so as you share this link we'll, we'll list down all the movies that you have mentioned here all the communities that you have mentioned here and so that you can go and engage and yeah see what will interest you and that's it uh that's my parting shot maybe 10 seconds if we have something to say before we go on talking to people okay. thank you guys for being collaborative and if you have something to say or have co some questions you are welcome mm -hmm. Any questions? Okay. Thanks again. I think I'll leave yeah. you because my, my phone is dying and the laptop is dying. Okay, I think... I'll, uh, I'll just be cut off any time from here. Sure, yeah. I think we are done, right? Uh, anybody has questions? What do you think about the uh, the presentation? What do you take from the presentation? If you would like, if you would say something about it, we are welcome to, to, to accept. Sure. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm seeing like flying clubs, really, and some vuvuzela. Oh, good. Thank you so much. Um, Ahmed, do you want to say something? Okay. For uh, Regarding to the new learning, uh, I think the, the community part was uh, important to me since I wasn't uh, being in an AI community. So this is a new thing. I will thought about it and try to join one. Okay, yeah, yeah, super, super as well. Yeah, this is something we always need as we progress in our careers. Uh, you know, being part of the people who have the same aspirations as us, it's super, super important. Like how we are part of the 10 Academy community, go out there and be part of the other community as well, big time. So thank you so much, Temskin, uh, like for opening our eyes around this and uh, Nyamusi as well. This was super, this was super informing and it was, you know, the interactions was really good as well. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, we can even wrap up here if we are right on time. And then we meet in the next CBS session with Rahmet, which is also the last session of the whole week. Okay, thank you so much everyone for joining. We appreciate you all. Okay, Tamska.